It's no secret that Kenya is industrializing. For decades, Chinese machinery and expertise have been at the heart of this economic transformation. According to the recent report, there are more than 400 Chinese companies operating in Kenya. So you are, you are Kenya. <laughs> but the businesses gathered here are recognizing that domestic enterprises are starting to shoulder their share of the industrial burden. More than 60 Chinese firms from 11 separate provinces and municipalities all gathering together here in Nairobi for the China-Africa Industrial Capacity Cooperation Expo. The idea is to bring together Chinese capital and Kenyan talent to spell a brighter future for East Africa's regional economy. The focus is on building local capacity. Investors are betting that a more self-reliant Kenya will translate into greater prosperity for both countries. Uh, to actually meet local people who are in partnership with, with the Chinese firms, that's a very positive thing for us because it means that there's a lot of skill exchange that is going on. There's a lot of uh, understanding between the Chinese and the Kenyan people. Africa Traffic Facilities Limited provides furnishings for Kenya's road network. The, the markings on the roads and the directional signs, the road signs, and our latest project, and still ongoing, it's in a remote part of Garissa County, and uh, which connected all these small villages and towns that was inaccessible before, which I'm very proud of. The company's materials are largely manufactured in China, but that's starting to change. Manufacturing already accounts for roughly a sixth of Kenya's GDP, and cottage industries, like the massive semi-formal metalworking sector, are enjoying increased recognition. Recently, the government entered a $30 million deal with the informal sector to manufacture doors and windows for its affordable housing program. We are going to, in the very near future, and set up, set up our own factory in Kenya and uh, having the raw materials sourced in Kenya, if, if possible, or Africa, and uh, which creates local jobs and uh, add value to our products. It's just one example of how Chinese enterprises in the country are pivoting to keep pace with Kenya's rapid industrialization. Our move for industrialization and uh, manufacturing is, 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 is a position that has been taken by government. In some time, we should be able to do some of these things ourselves. And that's where you get the transfer of education and the transfer of skills. That's a different type of partnership. And one that's already starting to bear fruit. The three-day event also features a job fair aimed at pairing Chinese firms with Kenyan talent. From energy to agriculture, from construction to transportation, Chinese exhibitors here are eager to cater to a local market that's increasingly thirsty for innovative solutions to age-old problems. Both sides are hoping that beefed-up industrial capacity in East Africa will give business players all the tools they need to succeed. Daniel Plafker in Nairobi, Kenya, for CGTN.